Hey, thanks for watching my video. In this video, I will be pouring concrete into the mold, uh, pulling off the mold, and finishing off the pavers in my own special technique. We'll start with two 80 pound bags of quickcrete cement. Then I add one 10 ounce bottle of dye for two bags of cement. It's easy to mix the dye by putting it in a bottle and then filling it up with water before applying it to the cement. Now when you're mixing the cement, you may want to use a rake, a hoe, or a shovel. I, I ended up using a shovel later on, but here you see me using a rake. And it's pretty difficult to mix. It's like mixing super heavy mud. Now I speed up the video a little bit here just to show my technique of how I go around the bin to mix it one way and then to mix it another way. It's a lot of hard work. This is definitely not the fun part. I spent a few minutes trying to mix the dye evenly so that all the gray from the cement is mixed in with the red and so there's no more gray. And what I'm trying to achieve is a consistency which is sort of like chili. See, chili is kind of like mud, uh, it falls out of your hands, but it also clumps up really well. Because I'm doing this project over several days, it's important to have the same water ratio so that the dye across your entire project has the same consistency. When you're ready to fill your mold, just pour a bunch of it on top and let it fall in. And you know, you can use a shovel to pat it down. Yeah, you can be messy at this point. Just make sure you fill in as much of the mold as you can. And just pat it down here or there. More of the detailed part is coming up when you actually have to rake off all the excess and smoothing out the top of the mold. And that's what I'm doing right here with the small trowel that I purchased. I bought a small one because my template is pretty small and it's going to be highly detailed. And before I remove the mold, I like to tap around it to get rid of any excess air bubbles. And the mold will lift off pretty easily. Just lift it on one side and then lift it on the other and it'll slip right off pretty easily. Just like that. So this is the detail work I personally like to do after removing a template. So after it's been able to dry for a couple of minutes, you want to use the trowel and remove any of the raised edges that appear right close to the edge, which is part of the, which shows part of the template. If you see, I'm smoothing out the edges, trying to make the top flat and a little more rounded to give it more of a natural look so that there's no evidence of a template that was used to create this. I've watched other YouTube videos and I don't think I've seen anyone actually doing this part. It's a little tedious and time consuming, but I think the results are a lot nicer than if you didn't do it. Let me know what you think about this technique of smoothing out the edges and just the concrete paper mold in general. I'd like to hear your suggestions and maybe learn from your experience.
Thanks for watching the video.